guys, Southern Extreme TV. I'm Blake Myers here, here with uh, Coyote Hunting Tip number two. Uh, last video we talked about how to gain more hunting property in your county or wherever you're from, um, just in general. This week we're going to go into a little bit more of a tactic mode. Um, some of the previous videos we've done some calling sequences, uh, hit on some of the equipment that we use. This week I'm going to talk to y'all guys about you know really staying stealthy. This is going to help you put more fur in the back of your truck. And what I mean by being stealthy is not simply you know taking your time and going to the truck or uh, going to your set. Yeah, that's what you need to do as far as you need to go in during the daylight before you go hunt at night and scout the area out, find your easy access points, find your quiet access points and you really need to utilize those areas in order to get into the area that you're going to be hunting with as less friction as possible so that these coyotes, fox, bobcat, whatever you're hunting um, really have no idea that you're there. Um, the number one thing that you want to do besides going and scouting that property out um, a couple days ahead of time in the daylight hours and finding a really good route in and out is when you get to the spot that you're going to hunt, whether it be up against a tree, up against a fence post, um, you know, really just wherever, the biggest thing is you want to clear out a spot around you so that if you have to move or shuffle your feet or move your body anytime during that call set, you're not going to make a lot of noise doing that. And what I have found is that if you just go into a spot from around here, we hunt a lot of hardwoods, pine thickets, and cutover, stuff like that. So there's a lot of leaves on the ground the majority of the time that we're hunting. If you go into the set and you find the tree that you want to set up against, what I usually do is I will go ahead and I'll take my boot or take my hand and I will scrape out almost what looks like a deer scrape or a big turkey scratch. Um, just take all of the leaves and rake them away from that tree where you're going to be sitting so that your butt um, and your seat cushion, whatever you're sitting on, is going to be sitting on just plain dirt. <clears throat> and then the next thing you want to do is you kind of want to angle that scrape out away from you so that you have a, sp a space to set your left and your right foot so that if you need to move your left or your right foot in any direction um, as far as going out or in, you can do so without making a lot of movement. And trust me, I've learned this the hard ways. Uh, you go into a set, you, you just plop down, you start calling, something comes running in, and sure enough, he doesn't come straight into the call, whatever it is, start circling you, running around, and you know he may come into your left, and you may have a shot over here to your left, but you have to move a little bit in order to get that gun barrel turned around and get situated so you can make a good shot. And while you're turning and getting situated, you make a bunch of noise on the ground and automatically whatever that animal is that's circling you pinpoints where you're at and from then on out instead of circling that call or that noise he is circling you from then on out because he thinks you're that predator that is in there either making that rabbit squeal or he thinks you're that coyote that's in there howling so that's a, a really important tip that I can give you guys um, you know I do it every time I go into the woods and the majority of the time, whenever I go in and I find me a tree or a fence post that I'm going to set up against whenever I'm out doing my day scouting on a property, when I'm in there during the day, I'll go ahead and make that clean scrape so that I can go in at night and I don't actually have to scrape those leaves out in the middle of the night making a bunch of noise. This is going to help you guys out tremendously um, and hopefully it's going to put a, a lot more fur in the back of your guys' truck. And, you know, I can't thank y'all guys enough for watching Southern Extreme TV. Be sure to like our page, subscribe to us, and keep leaving the positive feedback. You know, if any of these tips help y'all out in any way and put some more fur in the back of y'all's trucks, be sure to comment on these videos and, you know, tell us we're doing a good job and, you know, just let us know that this is actually helping you out. And also, if there's anything that you would like to see us talk about or you want to give uh, want us to give our input on leave us a comment we try to comment back on every everything that somebody says to us so just let us know like I said I can't thank y'all enough for watching Southern Extreme TV I'm Blake Myers Coyote Hunting Tip number two thank y'all for watching